Hello, this is a quick video to go over how to how to get a ISO, a PS2 ISO off of a PS3. That is, it's a game that you bought, it's a PS2 game that you bought off the PS3 store and that you want to, instead of just playing it on the PS3, your jailbroken PS3, you want to play it on uh, on your PC, like in a in an emulator like PCSX2, so um, I I have jailbroken my PS3. I'm not going to go over all that stuff because that's a whole huge thing. Uh, and there was a, a PS2 game on the Japanese PS3 store that is. Um, let me think. Uh, oh, it's uh, Sega Ages series. Uh, Sega Ages 2500 series volume 20. Um, uh, what's it called? Space Harrier 2, uh, the complete Space Harrier collection or something like that. Very long title. Anyway, uh, so you can, once you've jailbroken your <laughs> PS3, you probably have a program, the homebrew that you've put on there because you need it for some basic copying stuff and the instructions on, for instance, the RPCS3, is that what it's called? The uh, PS3 emulator. RPCS3 emulator site tell you to do this, you'll probably have the Apollo save tool on there. And you can use the Apollo save tool to copy um, PS2 games that you buy off of the PS3 stores uh, to copy those to a uh, like a thumb drive, which is what I've got here. Um, and uh, they'll come out of Apollo save tool with this funny name, iso.bin. Uh, dot ps2 dot iso uh, and it's it's easy enough to to do that um, so you've got this iso this iso is 626 megabytes that's just big enough to fit on a dvd or whatnot right um, so the problem is that a while i think okay let's go to uh Let's go to PCSX2, the PC PS2 emulator. So I've got this, you know, hot fresh PS2 game that I downloaded to my PS3, um, and I want to play uh, not on my PS3. I want to play it on my PC. Let's see, let's get rid of you, uh, and we'll just plunk it into the ROMs folder. for PCSX2. You'll notice though that it's kind of large. As I said, it's like, this it's thing's like 627 megabytes, which is inconvenient. Slightly. I mean, you know, if you have a normal size hard drive these days, it's no big whoop, but you know, it doesn't need to be that big, does it? Anyway, let's just see if it worked. Uh, oh heck, PCSX2. Oh great, yeah, do it. So it does work because here is uh, the Sega Asia Space Harrier. And we can test it out and you know take a sec to get up to speed. There it goes. So this is it's it's working and all this stuff. Da da da. Which is great, but as I said, there is this slight hitch in that it is uh 627 megabytes, which is way bigger than it has to be. So what if we could make that a lot smaller by, and the way you do that, you'll notice my other PS2 ROMs I have, that I've ripped, I have compressed into CHD files, and you do that with a utility that actually comes with MAME, but you can download it separately called, uh, uh, called CHD MAN. So you would think I could just take this ISO and go to my chd man folder where I do my little chd man operations on there. Uh, I have it in way too many subdirectories. There it is. And we could just say, okay, and you run this batch file and that pretty much converts all your queues and bins and ISOs to chd files, right? Uh oh, it doesn't work. Um, if I go to the command line, And I uh, 
I can remember <laughs> the, uh, let's see, CHD, man, uh, create, what is it, CD, um, from my iso.bn.ps2.iso and call it, uh, uh, ps2.chd, whatever. Uh, I did that. Oh, you, yeah, you need to actually do stuff. Uh, input is that. Output is that. No, I'm terrible at this. I can't spell. That's what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I had multiple things wrong, but there. Okay, so error parsing input file iso.bin.ps2.iso unsupported format. You're like, unsupported? ISO is one of the main formats that, uh, there's this batch file that comes with CHD, man, when you download it individually, it says it supports, but whatever, this apparently is not, like, it's not your normal ISO file that uh, the Apollo Save tool gets out of your PS3. So, uh, what to do? Well, I flailed around for hours this morning, but I finally found two ways to 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 do this, that you can use it, uh, eventually get it to compress it uh, into a much smaller CHD. Um, one is that you can take it and you can burn it with image burn, that's I-M-G-B-U-R-N, that's the freeware um, uh, disk reading software that, that everybody uses to just rip uh, CDs when you're not trying to be too fussy about it, rip DVDs and stuff. So that's what I used to rip my uh, PS2 discs, for instance. You can you can burn if you have a spare CDR and a CD uh, writer, a DVD writer. You can, which I do in my old laptop. Uh, I can put this. I can burn this ISO that I got from uh, Apollo Save Tool to a you know an actual cdr using image burn and when it, when i go to do that it'll ask me it'll say like hey this is like not the usual format do you want to convert it uh as we burn it it, it you know it'll be fine you know it'll it'll it should work and or something something that sounds reassuring you're like uh, okay and so i did that and um i i wish that i could have just found a way to have image burn just convert the file without having to actually burn it to something first, but I couldn't find a way to do that. You can tell it to convert a file into another file, but I couldn't get one that would actually get back here and work in CHD, man. So it's possible there was just some combination of settings I couldn't find, but anyway, when I burned it to disk, it automatically picked whatever format was a format that would work because once it was burned on the disk, then I could, I also, then I used image burn again to read it from the disk and, and rip it like I would normally rip a, a PS2 game. And that ripped into uh, the usual .bin bin and .cueq files. So I had the usual PS2 rip with a bin and Q, and then I could just bring the bin and Q in here and run the usual chd man bat file and get a uh, nice compressed chd file uh, that was it's like 40 49 megabytes or something for this for this um <clears throat> uh sega ages 2500 series uh volume 20 space area 2 iso whereas the you know the, the uncompressed version is 627 megabytes so you know 49 that's a lot nicer uh 49 megabytes but uh so that works if you want to waste a CDR essentially, and if you have a, a you know a, a, a writable uh, DVD drive around. If you don't, um, the other solution I found was uh, there's a program called Power ISO. Power ISO is uh well it's shareware but they're the freeware version i think it's this one the freeware version only lets you burn 
like small files and not big enough for this 100, 627 megabytes. I think it was this. Anyway, I needed to register um, in order to convert this file. So I was like, all right, unfortunately it's $40 to register. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. But I just wanted to know at this point, I just wanted to know if it would work. Uh, one other caveat about power ISO is that it set off my, um, antivirus detection. The antivirus said it had a, it had malware in it. And I think I looked it up and I think it's just that the installer, like, you know, asks you if you want to install some other junk or, or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it did. I think it's something like that. Hopefully I'm not infected by a virus. Uh, I think it was just adware that the, uh, that antivirus, um, products love to uh, beat up on. Anyhow, so I, <laughs> I can't say in that regard, I can't say I recommend it. I can recommend it a wholesale because I don't know. It set off my antivirus, but I, I think it was just adware in the installer that you can just skip and you're fine. I think, but I could have a virus. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is my second solution, my wonderful second solution. Um, so with this one, you've still got your, uh, funny named ISO that you got from Apollo save tool on the PS3 and you put on your, uh, thumb drive. Um, so we can use this convert, uh, function in power ISO. Now that I have shelled out my 40 bucks and registered. It took maybe five minutes for the email to get to me with my registration key while I was kind of sweating it. So source file, there it is right in my directory where I have it. Uh, destination file. Let's see, what do I, oh yeah, I'll just name it something else. So, uh, I'll name it a uh, space Harrier. And the, what we want is standard ISO images. There's, you could convert it to a bin queue. I don't know if that would exactly work, but just going to do standard ISO images. There's a more settings button, but it's grayed out. So I guess there is no, uh, options here. It's just converting from an ISO to an ISO, which, you know, it basically tells me that this ISO that we get out of, uh, Apollo save tool, the, the, yeah, what you might call it, homebrew program on the PS3 that you install is the normal part of cracking your, your jailbreaking your PS3. Um, whatever it, it is able to get in terms of these PS2 files that you get off the PS3 is not a standard ISO. Even though ImageBurn was able to burn it after it did a little conversion of its own, but whatever conversion that was, I cannot get ImageBurn to do that uh, without having to burn something. So... I'm using power ISO here to do a conversion, which I guess is probably pretty similar. So here we go. Look at that real fast. And here's my new ISO. Now notice there's a size difference. Now this one was 627 megabytes. Well, it still is 627 megabytes. That's the one that I got off the save tool. Uh, this new one that power ISO just made is only four, 546 megabytes. So, uh, you know, we're like, I can't do math. Is that like 80 megabytes smaller or something? So that's, that's a plus, but I wonder if we can get smaller than that. So let's delete. I've still got this on thumb drive. I still got it on my PS3. So get rid of the, uh, get rid of the uh, Apollo save tool version. So now you've got this converted version. Don't need power ISO here anymore. That's done. Don't need CHD man in this form. So we can close that. So now what if this just works with chd man like it properly should let's try holy moly it's doing something this looks like it's working okay here's a chd the chd is 49.4 megabytes which is the same size that i would have got from the other method of uh of uh burning it to disk with image burn and then uh, ripping it from that same disk with image burn to a bin and queue and running it through a CHD that would have come to the exact 49.4 megabyte size. I don't know if it's the same byte size, but it's, I didn't look. It was pretty close anyway. 49.4 megabytes. And remember, we started off with 627 megabytes, so that's a pretty good saving. So I don't need this ISO anymore. Uh, so here we go. Let's see if this works. 
in uh, PCSX2. Well, first, let me uh, let me make sure I don't have some duplicate in there. Let's uh, let's pop it out of there. Just put it out here. See if space harriers in there. Oh, no space harrier. Okay, that's good. Because this is space here, so let's put space harrier or a new one in. It's only 49.4 megabytes instead of 627. Can it possibly work? Well, it's there. Let's run it. Hey. So there you go. Um, so that's two ways. I didn't actually do the 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 I didn't demonstrate live for you the image burn because that's boring. But um uh you can do that if, if you do have a DVD ROM drive and a spare, you know, C D R W or C D R or whatever. I had a C D R get ready. Welcome to the fantasy zone. So that's it. Um and there's uh, did you know that there are a hundred and nine According to the PS3 store, 109 PlayStation uh, 2 games on the Japanese PS3 store still to this day. Uh, and you can buy them. And, uh, you know, of course you can't buy things directly off the PS3 anymore because Sony realizes it's been cracked. Uh, but, you know, um, you have to fund your wallet separately and all that. But that's, uh, that's good. So, yes. Uh, that's it. And that's how you get from that awkwardly named ISO that Apollo Save Tool spits off of your uh, PS3, the large awkwardly named ISO, and you end up with um, something much smaller. So that's that's good. That That's all the tips I have. There's probably better ways to do it because I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, for some reason I spent all morning uh, trying to get something to work, and that worked, so I was happy. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.